Hey everybody, and welcome back to math class. Uh, today we're going to be tying in a lot of different ideas of percents, and we're going to add one little thing to that. So again, this is just going to be combining everything that we've done so far and grouping it into one lesson. So application of percents is basically being able to read a problem and know what to do with that percent. So as a refresher, there are two ways to deal with percents. You have the percent proportion, where you put the percent over 100, and then this is the part over a whole. And then if this is the part, then this is the percent of the part. So keep that in mind. If you have taxes, markups, um, gratuity, those are all percent increases. Another one that you might hear is called commission. Hey Google, how do you spell commission? There we go. So a commission is when you earn a percent on your sales. So if I sell cars, um, I might make a small salary, but then I get a percent for every car I sell. And that's called commission. So you would take the salary, find the percent of sales, and then add it. Decreases. Again, this is just review. These are going to be discounts coupon, a sale, um, a rebate maybe. Anytime you see these words, the original price goes down. When you see these words, you get more. When you see these words, you pay less. All right. So there's something that we need to add, and it's called simple interest. And this is just kind of like a bonus add-on lesson to this lesson. And it deals with percents. So simple interest is the idea that you can borrow money and you pay back more, and that extra money you pay is like a fee for borrowing somebody's money. So like when you buy a house or you buy a car, or you take out a loan to go to college, you have to pay more than what you borrowed. So simple interest you do not have to memorize this formula. It will be on your formula sheet, but it's also an easy one. You have I equals P R T. When I was growing up, we called it the PERT formula. So I is interest. This is I is interest. This is how much interest is earned or owed. If you are the one lending money, then you get extra interest. If you borrowed money, you pay extra interest. And that's where I is. P is the percentage. Nope. P is principal. P is principal. Principal. This is money. This is money either invested or borrowed. Sometimes you can invest money in like um, a savings account or a bond and you earn a percentage of that back. The next one is R and R is the percentage rate as a decimal. So this is the rate as a decimal. And then T is time in years. That's a big one. T is time 
10 years. So if they give you six months, how much of a year is six months? A year is half, so 0.5 for years. Now, how do you change a percent to a decimal? You move the decimal two spaces to the left. So just as a refresher over here, let's do some quick ones. 30% is what as a decimal? 0.3. What is 25% as a decimal? 0.25. What about 5%? What is 5% as a decimal? It's 0 0.05. Don't just say 0.5. So because 50% as a decimal is 0.5. What about 2%? Point oh 0.02. And now here's a tricky one. 2.45%. What is that as a decimal? This one's going to be 0 0.0245. Because even though it already has a decimal in the percent, it's still a percent. You still have to move the decimal two spaces over to make it a true decimal and drop the percent sign. So here's the example we're going to do. If I invested $200, so my principal is $200, I'm going to keep it in the bank for two years. So time is two years. And my interest rate is 3%. So all I'm going to do is multiply these three numbers like this. So how much is the principal? Principal is 200. How much is the rate as a decimal? It's 0 0.03. And then how many years? Two. So this is times two. This is going to tell me how much extra money I earned. So because I can multiply in whatever order I want, I'm going to choose to multiply 200 times two first because I know that is a whole number. So 200 times two is. 400, 400 times 0 0.03 is 400, 103, 0, 0, 12, 1, 2, 1, 2. So this is $12, $12. So what that means is that if I invested $200, I would earn $12 on top of that. So it would be 200 plus 12 is 212. If I borrowed $200 over two years, I would have to pay $212. Now interest rates are not quite like that, but that's a conversation for another time. All right, um, let's throw in something with percents real quick. This is a good one. All right, Emily's meal costs $32.75 and Darren's meal costs $39.88. Emily treats Darren by paying for both meals and leaves a 14% tip. Find the total cost. All right, so the percent is $10.17. Because this is money, so I have to round after this digit right here. And so I have $10.17 is my 14%. This is 14%. I have to add this to the total. So if the meals together was $72.63, I have to add $10.17 to that to get my final answer. 
So it's 8280. Sorry, it got squished and I ran out of room. All right. Don't forget to use your previous notes with percent markups, percent of change. All of that is going to kind of play together in this lesson and simple interest too. All right. I will see you guys next time.